Hey Smokestack owner fans, Johnny C here in New Jersey. This is my second video with the uh, my latest edition, a uh, 3.0 DJA. Uh, my last video I mentioned that we got this thing for a hundred bucks, uh, supposedly had no compression. I, the real issue was that it had a decompression valve, so the uh, seller thought that it was no good. Anyway, we picked it up, I tore it apart as far as all the tins and all that, straightened out a couple things. Uh, and uh, it actually ran uh i couldn't run it long because i did not have the cooling tins on it so i threw all the cooling tins back on uh it did straighten out a problem originally it was not wired correctly on the out uh, output ac power leads we corrected that uh and we're gonna test that today okay so i got my johnny c kilowatt box hooked up my outlet box is ready to go uh, we're going to plug in a couple of heaters. Again, this is only three kilowatts. It's not a big uh, diesel generator at all, but it'll be great for, like, let's say, a power outage. You want to run a boiler, a couple of lights, whatever. This thing should sip fuel. So anyway, the purpose of today's test is to kick this thing over. Uh, we'll put a load on it, make sure that there was no damage done by the, the original owner as far as the way that they wired the control box, the AC output leads. Uh, I'll probably run this thing for about an hour. I'm just going to let it run. we got a lot of diesel fuel. Uh, it's a Friday evening. Uh, probably, I don't know what time it is, about 7.30, 7 o'clock. Uh, don't care about the neighbors. I have no muffler on this thing. Uh, so let this thing uh, run. And uh, I'm going to also do some uh, diagnostics on the uh, decompression solenoid. It originally went here. This is the plunger. This is the actual solenoid. I think I'm getting power to it, but this might be defective. Uh, and again, when uh, the decompression solenoid does not have 12 volts to it, what it does, it uh, allows the mechanism to hold down the exhaust uh, valve, and thus you have no compression, no start. I guess the purpose of the uh, decompression valve is to make this thing uh, easier to roll over on the initial startup. Uh, the way that the solenoid engages is that, I should say engages, uh, disengages from the uh, exhaust valve is when there's 12 volts present on this thing it pulls the uh, plunger back unlocks the valve and away it goes uh, and that's providing that we have oil pressure okay so it's a few things that regulate this guy the oil pressure uh, also there is an overheat sensor on the back so if this thing gets a little bit too hot it will uh, break continuity and then we don't get 12 volts up here for this guy Plunger comes back, machine shuts down. But anyway, we're not concerned about that. So let me uh, get ready, and I'm going to start this thing up. We'll put a load on it, and we'll be back. Okay? Hang in there. All right, we're back. We got this thing started now. I didn't put any load on it. The thing's probably been running for about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Let's see what we got going here. We got about 36 uh, pounds of pressure of uh, oil. battery these diesels are known for shaking all over the place so I'm cold uh, yeah no muffler so this thing's gonna be loud as hell let's see what we got in the output it's actually not too bad a little bit high but we have no load on this this uh, generator is not regulated by uh, automatic voltage regulator like we have these other generators it's regulated by a governor so I'm not really too concerned about that if I need to knock down the speed to get it uh, down to, let's say, about 123 volts, no load. It's an adjustment right here. All right, so we're going to let this thing warm up a bit, and then we're going to put a load on it, see what we can do with this thing. So I'm just going to do some uh, quick check over before we put a load. I wish I had a muffler for this thing, but I have nothing that fits. It's kind of small, uh, unlike the other ones over there. All right, anyway, we'll uh, get back to you as soon as we get a load on this guy. All right, take care, man. Okay, we're back. We got a load on this right now. Again, this is a three kilowatt generator. So we would expect about three kilowatts. Okay, continuous. What do we got right now? We got one heater, two heaters, one on each leg. Let's take a look what we got here. We're just shy of 2,700 watts. Hertz is perfectly acceptable. I mean, it is uh, chugging, okay? If I shut down one heater, uh, you'll hear the difference, but not that much. All right, perfectly acceptable. I mean, this thing is working. All right, what do we got here coming out of the exhaust? Anything? Any smoke? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, a little bit of smoke. Not much. Again, 
again, this thing is working pretty hard. All right, now, before I rebuild this thing, okay, I'm going to take it all apart. You know me, gasket, whole nine yards. Replace what needs to be replaced. Update what needs to be updated. Paint it up, make it look like brand new or better. I want to make sure I work out all bugs mechanically first. All right? Let's see what we got for oil pressure. We got just a little over 30 pounds uh, PSI. This thing is hot right now. What are we using for oil? Here we go. It's not synthetic. I don't want to waste any money on synthetic for nothing. So we're going to let the thing run. We'll uh, change everything over, uh, filter-wise, whatnot, and once we uh, decide we're going to do with this thing. So we're going to let this thing run for a little while. Let's see what we got here. Hold it steady. Not bad, okay? We want to make sure this thing holds, okay? We don't want to see any uh, problems with this, okay? So we'll check back with you later. Take care, bye. All right, Owen and Smokestack fans, Johnny C here again. We're doing a noise check. I'm actually uh, at the far end of my neighbor's uh, property, which is a bank. You could hear that DJA running. The noise is extremely offensive, which is good. I'm actually uh, on my bike, uh, getting closer to the source of noise pollution. That's the DJA without an exhaust. I mean, this thing travels, the sound travels. All right, my property is just uh, over the fence line. You can see my garage back there. We're going to go out to the street. I think this thing's going to carry to the next block. Okay, we'll get back to you in a little while with another noise check on the other side. Okay, sound check number two. I'm in the uh, parking lot of the supermarket on the other side of my property. You can hear that DJA running right now without no muffler. It's loud. Probably looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh yeah. You hear that DJ in the background, right? You saw my brakes squealing. Man, that thing's offensive. Anyway, I could hear this uh, DJA all around the block. All right, we're gonna go further out. Can't go any further. You still here in the background. I mean, I'm far away from my property, and that DJ really carries. Again, it doesn't have a muffler, but that's only a single-cylinder diesel. <laughs> Pretty offensive, huh? Okay, I'm about a block away, actually on the uh, entire opposite side of the shopping complex. I can still hear it. I don't know if the cell phone's picking it up. I could hear it clear as day, but the cell phone might not be picking up. Where am I? Okay. You see the tree line? I'm well beyond the tree line. Okay. So I'm about a block away. I can still hear this clear as day. Imagine what it would sound like at midnight. All right. I'm going to go a little further out. I love this thing. All right. We've been running for about 45 minutes or so. I'm back off my bike ride. I can hear this thing uh, speed over to the next. Thing 
run. Hey, who knows? Maybe in a little while the cops will be up here. It's getting kind of late. And again, as uh, you already know, this, this uh, thing really travels down wide. All right, let's get back to you.
peace and quiet around the neighborhood. They're gonna love me now.